Hello everyone, this is Jeremy here. Today we'll be talking about the U-Win fighter from Lepin, which has the set number of 05054. And basically it's a good size for the ship. And this manual actually have 55 page. Basically, I find that most of the time the instruction inside the manual is in Lepin is quite okay. It's not very super super good, but you know it's quite reasonable. The instruction actually is quite clear, so no problem reading it. And uh, this actually this set actually consists of 679 pieces. This set also come together with five minifigs. Our first minifix is a female character. It actually, for this minifix, it actually has a, uh, I think it's like a, you know, like a mota, bazooka, you know, and they actually give a lot of uh, gun or this, and I'm not sure whether you can actually see or not, but this is actually not black, but it's like kind of like a gun metal color on the gun, and she's also carrying a porch and having a kit around her. Basically, if you actually take out the cake, there, you can see actually the torso, the the print, the printing on the torso actually is very nice. It's the front and the back, so you actually have have the option to decide if you want to go with the cake or with the torso. And the second character is this blue guy down here. The printing is actually very nice. For this character, there's two face. Yep. And uh, the third guy. This one of the non-human character, uh, but I find that the the printing is a bit out because I'm sh I, I think the mouth should be below here and the eyes actually should be you know around here. But it seems like the printing is out. But the body torso printing is quite nice. And once again, actually the gun is actually gun metal. It's not really black. Yeah, and. Then, Next is our pilot. And this pilot also has a double face. Yeah. And then after that is our next uh, infantry man or something like that. So again, the body torso. As for this guy, there's only one face, so only one expression. Now we come down to the main thing, which is the ship, it's the fighter itself. Basically, this fighter has a total length, which is from the front to the back of the engine, where this orange translucent piece is, is uh, 46 cm, and the width, which is on the side all the way, the both sides of the engine is around 20 cm and the height of to the highest point of this ship is 10.5 cm so it's quite a good size, big size, good size ship and one of the main feature about this ship is just like in a movie the wing is actually uh, you can actually open it up it's actually there's a mechanism to lock it and you can actually expand it out to the both both sides. See there's a, actually a mechanism catch right here which actually hold hold it in place when it's, it's in the when it's closed 
and then when you actually open it there's also a mechanism right at the inside here to attach it so you can it's very nice I would say quite a quite a size when you actually open it up and then you can even after that you can just close it back where there's a mechanism right here that you can just lock it in yeah. and then the next play feature is this guy actually come with two spring fire missile right at the front yep. and the, the way to, to fire it the mechanism is actually right at the top here so all you need to do basically is like you just have to press it and it will fire off one and two the, another feature about this is this is a troop carrier transport so it does have a carry, uh, troop carrier bay so right at the base here and there's a handle that you can actually just lift up the door and open up and inside is some uh, extra cargo space for troops or even cargo and it even have a swing out gun door door gun sorry where you can actually you you can actually fire a missile well oh, but i guess it's not that good man <laughs> the spring is not so good oh. so it can be swing in and swing out and you can even put a character inside to man to man the gun so the only the character can actually sit inside here. Yep, and with that you can actually have a character to man the gun. And same goes to the other side. So it has also has a door for you to open up and another door gun. And again you can just put a character there and man the door gun there so <clears throat> there's a, actually a door at the back here which I will say is uh, it's just for sure only there's nothing much you can really do in there it's too cramped a space for you to put anything in there and the, as for the cockpit, basically is you can actually open up. You can actually open up the cockpit, and there's a, the pilot can be sitting there, and it has a console right in, in in front of it, which is quite a distance away. One thing the pilot have to really lean back, because if not, you you won't be able to close your your cockpit, the canopy door. But when you actually look at, you know, when if you actually look at the pilot from this angle, you can actually see him looking right through the glass. And then as for the below, there's actually a, a transparent piece where you can actually see the feet of the pilot. So I guess maybe, you know, the pilot need this view in order to know where it's going to be landing so as to let his troop depart from the ship. So that is my review of this U-wing fighter. I hope you guys like it. If you if you want to see more video, more of my video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. See you again.